What's up guys and welcome back to the hack spot with yet another upload I know that's rare, but I've got so much more planned Be sure you subscribe here to the channel to stay updated on a bunch of cool things today We're going to be talking about an iOS 10.2.1 jailbreak that was supposedly released all right, now to start with, this isn't like one of those people that come out of nowhere and say that they're going to release a jailbreak. This actually has come out, and now it is available for everyone to download. Now, we don't know if it's 100% safe, and it's for, again, iOS 10.2.1, not 10.3.2. And a fake jailbreak, of course, would say that's available on every single firmware, every single device. But this is only available on what they say it's actually working on. So... That makes it a little bit more, I don't know, true to me. But the thing that sucks is I can't personally test it because I do have a device on 10.3.2, but I don't have a device on 10.2.1 anymore. So that kind of sucks. I can't really test it. So we really have to just wait and see what happens with this. But let me go to show you guys the jailbreak. Okay, so here I am on my computer and oh boy, this is some exciting stuff. So anyways, hopefully this is true and it does seem up to be like very very true based on like everything that's being said so this jailbreak is called saigon here's the website that i found it on and it's ios 10.2.1 jailbreak but anyway scroll down and here's an update so the developer has removed the ipa file because of search let's try that again because of certain issues so the developer removed it and basically now you have to compile the app yourself using xcode and then put on your device you basically run the saigon app and then it, your device will be jailbroken. So again, this is only for iOS 10.2.1. And as far as compatibility goes, this supports any 64-bit device, not 32-bit. And again, on iOS 10.2.1. So these are all the devices that are 64-bit and will work with a jailbreak. So now if I go to the GitHub, you guys can see that this jailbreak was developed by this new person, Abraham Masri. And his Twitter is over here, his handle and it also uses exploits by Ian Beer, who we know, and Luca Tedesco, who of course we also know. So that is very, what's the word, promising. So this does seem very legit. It's not like they released an iOS 11 jailbreak or iOS 10.3.2 jailbreak that works on every single device. That's too good to be true. And they actually put something on the table, which is awesome. So down over here, we got these steps. So method one, down the Saigon IPA. And to do that, again, you do have to compile the app yourself to get it to work using Xcode. And if you guys want to know how to do that, there's steps for that too. If you're going to scroll down, we get method two. And over here, it says download the Xcode project from this link. Now, Xcode is only available on Mac, and all you do is select your device, your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. You have to run the project and open the Saigon tool from the home screen and tap the jailbreak button. So that is pretty simple. I wish I could test it myself, but again, I don't have a 10.2.1 device. Hopefully, they will have the same jailbreak updated for iOS 10.3.2, so I can make a video on it. And right here, it says, did you get it working? So... It's not 100% guaranteed to work, but it's very promising. If I go to this Reddit post over here, you guys can see that this is not, again, 100% guaranteed to work. And here's the developer actually talking about why he's released this jailbreak. So the device I have, 10.2.1, is an iPad Air that uses a driver called Apple. Okay, whatever that name is. The driver is similar to that, but there are differences in the methods that I couldn't get past. Their developers managed to get to jailbreak working, but decided not to share. So I guess he decided to share this jailbreak so that people could jailbreak their devices on iOS 10.2.1. So everything you need to know is over here. There's some troubleshooting for if you get an error and some steps, calm down and just follow the steps basically. And again, he removed the actual IPA that you just download simply and just put on your device because it wouldn't work. So you actually had to use Xcode to put it on your device and run the jailbreak. So guys, that is basically the extent of Saigon. Again, he uses exploits by Luca Tedesco and Ian Beer, which hopefully is true. I haven't really read anything about someone getting into work because most people are on 10.3.3 or 10.3.2. But let's see, this might get updated for those firmwares and yeah, that would be really cool. All right, so guys, that is a new Saigon jailbreak tool for iOS 10.2.1. If you're on 10.2.1, you're a lucky bastard. Just kidding. But anyways, again, hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. And as always, guys, peace out.